Hey everyone, it's Lena here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use the Rogers Vertical Chest Press, or as some people call it, the Pendulum Chest Press Machine. So this is a plate loaded machine, meaning we have to actually put plates on there to load the weight. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Also, I'm gonna show you how to set the safety as well. So I'm gonna get around here. Now, to set the safety, you wanna do this first before you actually set the weight. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that handle out. There is a little pin right here. You just push it down and then slide it forward to make sure that safety is up a little bit forward. Or if you're a little bit shorter and have shorter arms like me or have a little range of motion, you can set it a little bit further back. I'm short, so I'm gonna set mine all the way back. Right there. Actually, I'm gonna do the second one. There we go. Make sure it's in line with the other one. Now, for your plate loaded, you're gonna use the handles are on the back. These handles right here are just storage, so you wanna make sure whatever you do on this side, you do on this side as well. Make sure that plate is slid all the way back in place. And remember, because they move separately, what you do on one side, you wanna make sure you do on the other. So make sure the safety is the same on both sides and make sure that weight's the same on both sides. The next thing I'm gonna do is set my seat. Now, unlike the other machines, your feet are actually gonna be hanging off this machine. So you wanna make sure that seat is up and your feet aren't touching the ground. The reason for this being you wanna execute that core bracing just a little bit more. So it's gonna make you have to balance and stabilize a little bit more than the other machines. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get off, I'm gonna pull the front seat up, I'm gonna lift it up, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna release that hook in the back, and then I'm gonna adjust my seat accordingly. So press down on it, make sure it's locked into place. Now I'm gonna get my hand set, make sure the end of that handle is in line with your shoulder, so this is good. My butt is all the way back, my feet are hanging off, and um, you can lock them and hook them into place to help you, or you can just hang them off, just make sure you're not you know, kicking around. So I'm gonna get my hands in place. All I'm gonna do, take a deep breath in, exhale as I push, pushing straight forward. Make sure your uh, wrist, elbow, and shoulders are in line with each other without locking out your elbows. Now, as I come in, I'm gonna relax my shoulders and let my elbows come back at an angle. And right before the weight hits the safety, this is where you wanna stop. Pause. Breathe back out. And because this is a not connected bilateral exercise, you can do one side at a time. Now with this, I do like to wrap around or you can keep your hand right here and just make sure you're only pushing with one side. Make sure you don't turn into the movement. Control and then right back out. And that's how you use the Roger Strength vertical chest press machine.